Hey, what's going on Aquarius? Butch Terrio here. Gonna do your one week read. Uh, it is a general read. So it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Uh, always feel free to comment down below. If you're looking for a personal read, or you wanna check me out on Facebook, Instagram, uh, check out my website. All the information is going to be in the description box underneath this video. And today we're going to use a Celtic tarot. Why don't I flip this? <laughs> Let's get right into it. Aquarius. Anyways, what do we have for Aquarius? What is happening in the next week for Aquarius? Aquarius. So first thing I have Aquarius, you know, I feel like a past person that you were dealing with, um, you know, I feel like not too, not too far in the past, I feel like, you know, you had a tower moment and I feel like because of that tower moment, you've been going through some changes lately. You know, figuring out exactly what it is that you wanted. Figure it is exactly where you want to be. I feel like, you know, it came to a point where that, that person, you know, had a lot of jealousy. Um, you know, I, I feel a lot of jealousy from that past person. And I feel like that caused a tower moment. And I feel like, you know, that's, you know, like I said, we have some changes coming for you. You know, putting to rest that old that old situation. Um, but like I said, I feel like, I feel like there was a lot of jealousy. You know, I feel like they they didn't put a lot of trust in you and I feel like that was something that you just couldn't handle anymore. And I feel, I feel like that's what caused that tower moment. Um, you know, and I feel like, I feel like it was a substantial relationship because I feel like that's what's causing those changes. I feel like there's a lot of new changes coming in, um, you know, refocusing on what it is that you want and what kind of people that you want to take chances on. Because like I said, I feel like that was, um, you know, it was good in the beginning, but it, it just, it, it failed to, it failed to progress because of the fact that they didn't trust you. I feel like they had a lot of trust issues. I feel like they, you know, there were, I don't get the sense that there was any reason why they shouldn't have trusted you. I just feel like, Honestly, I feel like it wasn't going anywhere anyway. You know, there was real no forward movement because this person is very jealous and I feel like that's something that, you know, doesn't really work for you. And I feel like not only was there jealousy, but, you know, I feel like there was a lot of, you know, there wasn't a lot of stability there. It wasn't very, it didn't, it wasn't very logical and I feel like that's why you know, that's another reason why there's been a lot of changes in your life. Because it wasn't logical. It wasn't a grounded situation. I feel like it was very all over the place. Um, there was no forward movement. And, it, and that, was, that was meant to come to an end with the world card. But now that you have those changes, now that you're going through those changes, and you're starting to focus on what it is that you do want, I feel like it's opening opportunities up for you. You know, I do see lots of opportunities coming for you. But like I said, I feel like there's lots of opportunities, but I want to, you know, what I do see is I see two specific people. You know, I, I there may be more opportunities coming for you than that, because I do see you have multiple opportunities, you know, multiple offers coming. You know, I... But one of the offers that I see coming, one of the people that I do see coming towards you, you know, I feel like I'm not getting a good vibe from this person. I feel like this person, we got some player energy here. 
You know, I feel like this person, and you may already know this person. Um, you know, I feel like they're they're gonna say all the right things. Uh, they're gonna come off very charming. You know, very, you know. Get that Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like not only are they gonna come off charming, but they're gonna come off like they have their shit together. Uh, I don't feel like that's accurate. I feel like they're just playing games. You know, and I feel like... Like I said, I feel like you may already know this person. Um, you know, and I feel like you get the feeling that, the, you know, this person may be too good to be true. And I feel like... Trust your intuition here because I feel like this person is. Um, they're just They're just here to say what you want to hear. Uh, they're just trying to get what it, what it is they want from you and then move on. And I, I don't get... Part of it, they're going to want to move quick. And I feel like when it, when it comes to this, I feel like it's more of a physical connection for them. You know, they're physically connected to you. They're physically attracted to you and they want to move forward. They want to move quickly. So you, that's how you're going to know who this person is. Because they're going to want to move a lot faster than you're ready to move. But now we have, like I said in the beginning, there is multiple offers. But the second person I have, you know, is a lot of good energy. I, I feel a lot of good energy from the second person. Um, you know, this is something that's going to move. This one's not going to seem as sure. Like I said, I feel like this person, this first one, the, that player energy, the person that's going to seem very confident, like they got their shit together. They're going to act like they, you know, you know, they, they're going to act like they got everything going on in an upward direction. Um, that person that's going to want to move fast. I feel like this person is going to be kind of almost the opposite. They're not going to feel, you know, they're not going to seem like they're trying too hard. Um, you know, they're not going to seem like they want to, they're not trying to impress you. You know, they want you to like them, but they're not trying to overdo it. I get a lot, like I said, I, I get a real genuine feeling from this person. Um, I feel like this is someone that you're going to be fulfilled by, you know, emotionally fulfilled. And this is a person that's going to have, you know, this is a very loving person, very nurturing, very caring person. And this is the type of person that you're going to get what you want from. You know, at the end of the day, you're going to get what you want from this person. You know, this person brings a lot of genuine, you know, everything they say that they want is exactly what they mean. They're not going to hide anything from you. So it's funny because, like I said, we have one person that's going to hide, that's going to, that's going to bullshit you, tell you what you want to hear. And I feel like it's only because they're physically attracted to you. They have no real emotional tie. I don't feel like this person has an emotional tie to anything. You know, they're just doing their thing. And that's why they, they're they going to try to rush you. They're, they're going to try to, you know, play you. And then they're going to try to rush it. But this other person, I feel like they're willing to take it at any pace, you know, that you want to go. And, and the reason I said that there's going to be more than one offer here. Is the Three of Cups. So like I said, I feel like this, you know, you're going to have options here. Um, it's going to come down to, you know, who it is that you want to be with. You know, one person I feel like, this genuine person, I don't feel like you met this person yet, but I feel like you're going to meet this person. And I feel like it might even be the next week that you meet this person. But right away, you're going to feel very connected. You know, you're going to feel almost like you knew this person for a while. And this person is going to come at you as, as a friend. You know, they're going to want to take this, take it at your pace. You know, and this is something, this, like I said, this is person is going to be very, you know, a very loving person. And they're not going to be pushy. They're not going to, you know, make you feel uncomfortable. So we got two different you know, people here. Two completely different people. We got this one person 
that player, they're going to try to push you and make you, you know, um, move fast, jump right into this. And like I said, they're going to act like they got their shit together. They're going to act like, you know, but honestly, deep down this person, I feel like they just don't, they're just not ready. And it's not that they're a bad person. They just know what they want and they're going to try to get it. You know, and I feel like it's it, it's a physical connection for them. Like I said, that's all they want. Right now, they're in their in their head. They're focused on physical connections. You know, they're just they're just trying to get what they want, and then once they get what they want, they're gone. But this other person, you know, this other person, I feel like they're genuine, and I, and I feel like I feel like they're not really. Uh, they're not really in a hurry. You know, they're looking for love. They're looking for a connection. And they'll, they'll take their time to get it because they know um, being patient, being patient is how you get what you want. And the universe is telling me this is what you want to take your leap of faith on. You know, this genuine person. And you're gonna know they're genuine. But this person, for, you know, the person that you're dealing with already, that you may already know, this player energy, I feel like, like I said, I feel like once you hear this, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Or at least you'll have an idea. Just know that it's all physical. There's no real end game there. There's no real um, forward movement. But this other person coming towards you, like I said, they may not even be... You know, I get a feeling that you may not have met them yet. And if you have, it's still fairly new. Um, you got some Scorpio energy. But like I said, I feel like, I feel like you need to take the time to decide. You know, you need to take the time to decide because you don't want to regret making another important decision. I feel like you've had, you know, you've had that bad relationship in the past. Um, where it didn't go where you wanted to go. And I feel like, you know, you don't want another one of those. But we have this genuine person, like I said, um, very caring. You're going to get what you want from this person. You know, this person brings to the table exactly what you want. You know, they're willing to, to do whatever it takes to make you happy. Because you being happy makes them happy. And that's the type of person we all need in our life. You know, that person that's willing to put your happiness in front of theirs. You know, because it makes them happy. They're not doing it to make, you know, when somebody, when somebody cares about you more than they care about themselves, you know, care about your happiness, they put your happiness first. That's someone that genuinely cares about you because they're doing it because they want to make you, they want you to be happy because when you're happy, they're happy. And that's what true love is all about. So this is something you're gonna to want to take a leap of faith on. You know, and I do see you guys getting together. And even more, I got the sun card. But like I said, you need to you need to take your time, focus on what it is that you do want. Like I said, you've been going through those changes since that past relationship. You know, you don't want to get back in that old cycle again, dealing with people that you know, put on this face that this is who they are and then they end up being not who they are. Um, like I said with that, we got some Sagittarius energy on that. Um, you know, with that Knight of Wands. They're, they're just looking to hit it and quit it. Um, it might even be a longer term thing than that, but there's real no, I don't see any real future there. There's no real uh, emotional connection. Um, but this other person... I feel like that's worth the wait, you know, and I feel like allowing this this player in, in, your, in your space any longer than they need to be there it, it is just going to put, um, you know, a wall up for anybody new coming in, and especially this person that I feel, I feel like there's someone, like I said, very genuine coming towards you, um, someone very caring, and I feel like you're going to know who they are right away, um, because I do get the sense that they're very caring. They're very, you know, they're very nurturing and they're very, and they're very focused on what it is that you want. But in a genuine way, they're not just listening to what you want, telling you what you want to hear. 
I feel like this is more of this person is actually putting in the work. This person is actually walking the walk, not just talking. So we got a talker and a walker. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. Always trust your intuition. Like I said, um, I feel like that past relationship has taught you to know the difference. Um, and you'll be able to spot the difference. Uh, like I said, I feel like that, you know, you may already know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, who I'm talking about. But like I said, it's, you know, it's all about your happiness. And when somebody, somebody actually, you know, that person, that genuine person comes towards you, you're going to feel their energy and you're going to know that this person is genuine. And you're going to know right away that this person actually truly cares. And even though I don't feel like, it's not like they're going to be super in love, you know, from day one, but I feel like you're going to feel the love growing with this person. And... You know, I know that sounds kind of confusing, but trust me, when you meet this person, you'll know what I mean. Um, you know, you'll feel love without anybody ever having to be saying it. But that's what I have for you. Be good. Take care.